people. What we expect from people is that now, instead of just providing the mechanical answer that we would be able to provide maybe five or six years ago, now we want the, 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 the interaction to create an emotional bond. There is, uh, in any case, uh, um, a philosophy around TP, which is we truly see the, the customer experience as being the ability to have a bond with a customer. And the bond, it, it requires uh, to have empathy and to develop uh, this emotional uh, relation with, with, uh, with the customer. So where can AI help with that? Well, AI can help with that because it can release uh, our uh, expert, our TP expert, from these mundane tasks that typically would occupy the activity while he's serving the customer. So this can be looking for information about the product or looking for information about the process. So all of these AI is today helping TP experts during the interactions, which means that our TP, our TP experts, they can focus more on understanding the emotional needs of the customer. Ultimately, that's what you want, right? You want the customer to feel special during the interaction. It's very important to understand that when you consider one single brand, typically consumers, they make two to three interactions per year uh, to a specific brand. So there are not a lot of opportunities for you to build this very close relationship with your customer. So you really want to leverage that, make the connections inside the customer brain so that this is a, a brand that values me and this is a brand that I want to contact again. But this means that your customer needs to trust you, uh, needs to feel good, and that's what we are doing. We are making our TP experts released from those mundane tests so that they can focus on that, on creating this will for the customer to come back uh, for something that is a good and a joyful experience. To using AI of creating these environments, simulated environments, where our people get trained in specific situations. So this is what we see really as powerful is for people to be released from what I was calling these mundane tasks, have the preparation to use the tools. But what we expect from people is that now, instead of just providing uh, the mechanical answer that we would be able to provide maybe five or six years ago, now we want the, 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 the interaction to create an emotional bond. And this is much more difficult than providing a mechanical answer. If you want to develop a relationship with anybody, you better have it. Otherwise, it's never going to work. Emotional intelligence is what allows you to do that. In the end, it's what matters. Because if you want to customer uh, to develop uh, business with your brand and to grow the revenue, it is always, it, it's all going to come from there. What we are seeing, uh, and I'm a true believer in this, is that more and more uh, um, people will be using their emotional capabilities. Just like people were released from the physical skills and moved into the intellectual skills, emotional skills, just like intellectual capabilities uh, back then, are going to be the differentiator. And that's why at TP we invest so much, of course, in utilization of the AI tools, and then in the development of the social skills, because it's in the social skills that is going to be the differentiator for the employee, and it's in the social skills of the workforce that's going to be the differentiator for the brand. The development of the emotional intelligence is going to be more and more important as other skills are going to be taken by uh, software and, uh, and the IT systems. If you want to innovate, you can always say, okay, I'm going to pick up the best practices around my organization. I'm going to communicate them and everything is going to, it doesn't work like that. If you just do that, it's just an amalgam of things that don't work together. So this is a continuous process. You cannot like develop your human touch, your high-touch organization disconnected from your high-tech capabilities. They need to come together.